Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco, Dish Out on Movies. The only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again. I am here today to talk about my top 10 favorite protein bars. I've already talked about my top 10 least favorite, which I don't really enjoy doing because I, I think that all the flavors could be good. It's just that they're not. And so these companies, they can either take the feedback or fuck off. And it's the same thing with like movies, video games, TV shows. Like everyone has the right to criticize. Everyone has the right to talk about their opinions of anything. And, you know, these companies, they can either take it or leave it. Like I'm not forcing my opinion about protein bars on anyone because I don't even really care uh, other than I eat Power Crunch bars every day uh, because I like them so much. But anyways, that's kind of a spoiler. So my first protein bar is not even in the top 10. It's in my honorable mentions. And it is Power Crunch Wild Berry. And this flavor tastes... Well, let's let's just say I was not excited about this flavor. Because I hate, I hate Power Crunch's other fruity flavors like the key lime, the lemon. I hate those flavors. And this flavor, Wild Berry, you know, I thought, ooh, this is going to be really artificial and gross. And it came in a sampler pack. And so I had to taste it to, you know, have a sample bar. And I got to say, like, I was shocked it tasted so good and so phenomenal. It was like eating a bowl of berry cereal. I would say that it tastes a lot like Frankenberry cereal, but almost like even better. And so I would say that this is one of the best protein bars ever. And I kind of wish that I could put it in the top 10 because that's how much I really liked it. And I would definitely love to have it again. Uh, but I'd have to get it on Amazon instead of at the store, so that's kind of a pain. My number 10 is Special K Chocolate Pecans and Peanuts. And this this is something that I got because I went to CVS to see if they had any other flavors. And I, I wanted to try this because I thought maybe... It'll be really good. You know, they make cereal, Kellogg does, and, you know, maybe it'll be a really good bar. And what do you know? This bar was really, really tasty, and it has a very... It, it reminds me of the kind bars, but you can actually eat them for the most part. I will say there is still a bit of a textural problem of not being able to chew them uh, completely like it, oh, having a hard time chewing them because cause they're kind of hard just like the Kime bars but still they're edible they are they are doable and this flavor the, the dark chocolate the pecans the peanuts they all work together very well and there's like this I think it's like a caramel uh, like a saltiness flavor that comes from the peanuts and it works really well and, in fact, a lot of the times when I eat protein bars, especially Power Crunch, sometimes I don't feel satisfied going into the day. And maybe it's just because I eat lunch late because of other reasons. Uh, but I always feel a little dissatisfied. And for everything that I've said that's wrong about this bar... Every day that I ate it, I felt satisfied throughout the day. And so I would say that if you wanted people to eat a bar that would satisfy them for a long period of time, it would be this one. It's a very tasty, simple bar, but it fills you up along with another bar, of course. You know, you don't just eat one protein bar, you eat two. Number nine is Think... The Thick Bar Chocolate and Cream Cupcake. This is obviously flavored after the Hostess Cupcake 
flavor and it, this was another shocker because I just thought maybe it'll be tasty and kind of like a guilty pleasure type of bar but it was actually really good and I haven't had any other thick bars yet so this is my the only one I've had so far and I'm very impressed uh, it is such a great flavor it tastes really good and it doesn't really taste like a hostess cupcake but you can kind of see where they're trying to go. You can see, you can, you know, you can kind, you can kind of taste it in there. Uh, it's just, it's not close uh, in terms of taste. So you have to keep that in mind. Your Earl should be disappointed. Uh, but it, it's still, it's really, really good bar. Number eight is Power Crunch Chocolate Mint. Now, I know that I criticized in the last video people who say, I think that tastes exactly like the real thing. And it's like this disingenuous thing that people say when they're shilling out products that are branded after some famous food. Like, you know, you'll have, there was this one really gross pre-workout powder, or I don't know, intra-workout powder, whatever the fuck, weird-ass shit uh, powder. And the guy called it, like, Skittles something, Skittles pre-workout, or intra-workout, and it was so weird. It did not taste like Skittles at all. And, it, and you know, it was just really disingenuous to say it tastes like Skittles. And then the same thing with the pink drip uh, from G Fuel, you know, that tastes nothing like pink Starbursts. Well, here's the thing. This chocolate mint, although it doesn't advertise this, I would say that it tastes exactly like Girl Scouts Thin Mint Cookies. And so if you have, if you really love Girl Scout cookies, but you're uh, working out and you want to have protein and have protein bars, then I would recommend eating this bar. It's very, very good. Although I will say, for some reason, whenever I eat this bar, I notice that it usually is a, a warning of like a bad day. And so, and so I actually try to limit getting these because for some reason that happens. But still, like, it's a really good tasting bar, and I highly recommend it. Number seven is Power Crunch Peanut Butter Cream. For some reason, I really love this bar. It is really, really tasty and delicious. It tastes like peanut butter. It has this nice vanilla flavor on the outside. It's a very refreshing, simple protein bar. This reminds me of... The vanilla bar, in terms of what the vanilla bar could have been, could have been a simple flavor, could have had a little bit of, you know, extra flavor in there, like maybe vanilla could have had a little bit of a peanut butter outside or something. Uh, but this bar is just really, really good. And something that I like to do that is kind of a hack that I don't know if I should even tell you is... The chocolate peanut butter fudge is, is its own thing. You know, it's its own flavor. What I like to do is you get a chocolate power crunch bar and then you get a regular peanut butter bar. You open both of them up and you take a bite of one and then you take a bite of the other and you bite those at the same time and it actually tastes exactly like peanut butter cups. And it's probably one of the greatest, uh, the greatest fucking combinations of all time in terms of food. So, yeah, I would highly recommend this bar. Although it is a little simple. Like, I get kind of bored of it. You know, I'd rather have, like, a mint one or a red velvet or a peanut butter fudge chocolate. Uh, this one's really simple. Simple, but good. Number six is Met RX Cookies and Cream. What happened was there was a period of time in high school where I stopped eating Power Crunch and instead I would eat 
two Met RX bars at lunch, and it was probably the stupidest decision ever because although the bars tasted really good, both of the flavors that I had, cookies and cream and chocolate chip cookie dough, really, really good tasting with obviously cookies and cream being my favorite of the two. I did not know, you know, they were huge bars. They looked like huge candy bars. And what do you know, on the package, it's like 20 grams of sugar per bar. So that's a total of 40 grams of sugar, which is just like ridiculous when it comes to eating protein bars. Uh, and, and I think they even call it a meal replacement bar. But the thing is, is that like, I don't know about eating like 40 grams of sugar in a meal unless it's a dessert. Uh, so, uh, very, very sad that I had to give up these bars because they both have a really nice, rich tasting flavor. They're both very satisfying. And cookies and cream in particular, it has such a creamy, refreshing, sweet flavor, like a nice milky flavor like you're dipping Oreos in milk and really really nice texture it's so soft it's so like satisfying to like open it up and you see this like white marbly bar and you just take a nice bite out of it and it just bites right off you don't have to fight with the bar to get a bite off like with fucking kind bars and uh, it's a really, really good bar. It's highly underrated. I would recommend uh, having it one time for fun. Uh, but it is really sweet. And that's another thing is I went back to Power Crunch after I found out. And I was like, oh, wow, like that bar really did have a lot of sugar in it. Number five is Power Crunch Triple Chocolate. This is a classic bar. It is another pretty simple bar, simple flavor, and I gotta say, like, it's simple but amazing. And the thing that I like to do with this bar is, and I'll just tell you this, every day I have one of these and then one of the other flavors. And the reason is, is because every single flavor pairs well with chocolate. There isn't a single flavor that would pair well with another bar. And so uh, this is a really, really good flavor to just like a basic starting off point if you want to try protein bars. Very simple, uh, though. It is just chocolate and nothing else. And, you know, that's what it advertises itself to be, so that's fine. Number four is Tiger's Milk Original. This bar is discontinued, I believe, which is very sad, because I gotta say that this could be number one. That's how good it is. I really love it. I think that it is 100% perfect bar. I used to get these all the time at the store that closed down, and uh, it, it's just such a fantastic flavor. I never tried the strawberry one, I think it was called, but... Uh, I think I saw it sometimes, or, oh, shit, I might have actually tried it. I can't remember. I literally can't remember because it was so long ago, and I think it was only one time, if any time. Uh, you know, tried a lot of weird things from this certain store that closed down. But the regular Tiger's Milk, I'll just say, like, you know, Tiger's Milk, you know, what do you think? You think of an aggressive flavor an aggressive flavor that like attacks you and just you know you feel like you're eating something indulgent but you're not you're eating a protein bar that will uh, be healthier for you than eating a candy bar for breakfast and I've never done that before too I'm, I'm just saying like protein bars in general they're healthier than eating sweets and <laughs> Sorry, I just got a notification. It's really funny. Uh, the Tiger's Milk flavor is this beautiful peanut butter flavor on the inside. And on the outside, you have like a peanut butter vanilla-ish flavor. 
and it is just like a double whammy of peanut butter and just a double attack and it is so good it was so good and the texture too it had this like cakey texture uh, and it oh it was so good I can't believe they discontinued this bar uh, what a complete shame number three is power crunch red velvet usually I don't like cake flavored things I think that a lot of the times they're too sweet or they're too artificial but this is an exception this red velvet power crunch bar flavor is is really good and it it has such a rich and refreshing flavor like I don't know how to describe it you know but on the outside it has this creamy uh, icing flavor and then on the inside you get the chocolatey you know red velvet flavor and it works really well together the, the outside part and the inside part and it does have a little bit of extra sugar in it I think it has seven or eight grams which is a little high especially when the other ones are five and so like it's probably better to just eat this once in a while instead of all the time but still it's a really good bar and I really love it like I think that it is a must have my number two is power crunch chocolate peanut butter fudge this has become the def the definitive favorite power crunch bar because of very very simple reasons chocolate and peanut butter you pair those two things up and you just get complete magic and it has a very it, it tastes like you're eating a dessert like it has a very thick flavor and it, it tastes so indulgent and so nice and chocolatey and peanut buttery and it really is a good bar to eat uh, especially if you were on a diet if you could only have like a protein bar for dessert you know this would probably be the one to have because it's just so uh, satisfying and it tastes a lot like peanut butter cups of course but not exactly like them uh, but still very very good my number one is the outright bar original and the funny thing is is that I haven't had any other flavor of the outright bar except for the original one just because I think they're a little bit more expensive because they have real ingredients and they're freshly baked that's why uh, but I, I just I've only had the one and I got it I think uh, right when it first came out I got a pack for uh, Christmas or something and it was uh, it, these protein bars are uh, really like unique and special because all the other bars have a certain artificial element to them where you can tell this was made in a lab this was made by some scientist with a chemical sprayer and he's just like spraying chemicals on a template or something I don't know like just some weird science shit but the outright bar it tastes like someone like a baker went into the kitchen and took some protein powder and then some peanut butter oatmeal chocolate chips and honey and just like smashed it together with their hands and put it in the oven and that's what it tastes like it has such a rich flavor you know why because it's the real thing okay it's not fake peanut butter it's not fake chocolate it's it's the real thing chocolate chips peanut butter honey oatmeal and it's very healthy and it is definitely the best protein bar I've ever had and the texture if you thought that the tiger's milk was uh, cakey this bar is really cakey uh, even more like I would say triple times the cakiness and that's because it's fresh and so I really really think the outright bar is the clear winner and I'd love to try all the rest of the flavors eventually 
and then I could probably just do a video ranking outright bars because oh wow that would be so fun oh I could have Safi do that too maybe Ooh, the, okay I might do that like for my birthday or something you know because last year my birthday video was complete trash or no wait no I think that was after my birthday but still I, I had like a commentary plan for my birthday and, it, and it, it was ruined because we recorded it on Twitch and then the stream didn't even save for some reason. And so it was a complete disaster. And uh, I think that for my birthday this year, Safi and I will be doing an outright bar taste test and ranking. Or you know what? How about every protein bar we can find? That would be pretty funny. Oh god, Safi would probably <laughs> keel over from eating all those protein parts. <laughs> but anyways, uh, those are my top 10 favorite protein bars. So please like this video, comment, and tell me what some of your favorites are. I know obviously I don't have any Quest bars on here uh, for obvious reasons. And then please subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more videos about protein bars and movies and TV shows and video games and books. Uh, pretty much everything except for politics and religion. <laughs> uh, so goodbye everybody. See you soon.